climate refers to the average long-term atmospheric conditions of a region. Climate varies across the world, producing distinct climate zones. There are many factors that create these differences. Latitude, location north or south of the equator, plays a major role in influencing climate. The curvature of the Earth means that the sun heats the equator more strongly than the poles. As a result, the nearer you get to the equator, the warmer the climate tends to be. But it's the water on our planet that contains the most heat, more than the land and the atmosphere put together. Covering over 70% of the Earth's surface, water absorbs the sun's heat and stores it effectively. Ocean currents carry this heat around the planet. The Gulf Stream carries the heat of a million power stations to northern Europe. Without it, the climate would change dramatically, becoming much colder. Large bodies of water maintain a stable temperature, minimizing changes in evaporation and the highs and lows of atmospheric pressure. This produces less varied weather at the coast. Air rises vertically at the equator, starting a cycle that produces six giant global wind cells. Wind which originates over water carries moisture, while winds which originate over land will be drier. This means that wind carries heat and moisture around the planet and stabilizes regional climate. Altitude is the height above sea level. As altitude increases, air becomes thinner and is less able to absorb and retain heat. As a result, areas of high altitude are cold and dry. Most of the influences on climate are natural. But humans can affect climate too. We do this by diverting natural water flows and impacting upon the Earth's atmosphere. These complex natural and man-made factors influence long-term regional atmospheric conditions, creating the distinct climate zones that characterize our planet. <laughs>